Bronx, New York. You know, I mean, a section called High Bridge. Uh, you know, I've been I've been doing this music thing for a while now. You know, what I'm saying I, I've been taking it serious, making my rounds, and you know, I mean, letting the people know I'm out here and uh, my music is available. You know, you gotta nice, yeah, just like that. You definitely gotta have a. a, a uh, you, I'm out here, listen, I'm out here representing people that's working, people that's really grinding, you know what I'm saying? None of that fake grinders and none of that, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect, but I'm out here trying to represent uh -huh. for the people that's working and the people that's really pinning it down on that MIC, you heard? Facts, facts, facts. Now, you said you've been doing this for a while. How long have you been doing this? I also blow phones up, you heard? I also blow phones up. You know what? <laughs> Y'all people yeah, better man. wait till I finish talking to the man. Yeah, you I'm heard saying. me? Or else I'm gonna catch a murder case. You heard? Yeah, <laughs> man. I just that, that's just the people calling and they want the real. You know what I mean? They yeah. want they want the real on the TV station on realdealfm.com. You know what I'm saying? They want that music. They want they yeah, want they, they, they know what they know what that bring that issue is like. They know what that murder case featuring status is Facts. like. You know what I'm saying? They know what the walls is Facts. about. They know what that 682 is about. Facts. They know what that strategic thing is about. About, you Facts. know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. tell me something. Hip hop. Why hip hop? Uh, hip hop is. Uh, I mean, it's something I love. Something that uh, came. Uh, it, it, listen, my uncle used to rap, man. I used to watch yeah. him rap, and I always wanted to do it. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. I fell in love with music at an early age. Not just hip hop, all genres. So yeah. uh, you know, uh, I said, Yo, I'm gonna do this hip hop. I started writing about 10, yeah. 11. Um, linked up with uh, my brother and why. Um, yeah. And we say, yo, we're going to take this mainstream, and um, here we are. We're doing our one-two thing, you know what I'm saying? And I'm linked up with some real dudes, Marshall Warren. We out here, and we're about to take over. Nice, nice. So who were some of your influences going up through this thing? Uh, you know, of course, you know, the top dogs, you know, Biggie. You know what I mean? Pun. Of course. Jada. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you uh -huh. know, uh, 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 a bunch of them Nas. Pack. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Beanie Siegel. Um, That's the man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, yeah. growing up, you know what I mean? Being a came later, you know, yeah. of course, you got your uh, KRS ones, pardon me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got your Do uh, Dr. Dre, Snoop yeah. Dogg, you know what I'm saying? Early in the game, did I say Tupac? Make sure, you know what I'm saying? Because that was a heavy influence, you know what I mean? I was playing around me a lot. Uh, and, and my uncle, too, R.I.P., you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was, yeah. uh, I thought he was the greatest rapper in the world, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, let me tell you something, man. Just because yeah. you don't sell a million records, that don't mean, that don't mean nothing, you know what I'm saying? You still, if you're putting it down right and you, and, you, and you ain't selling your soul out here, I respect you. So I was respecting facts. my uncle for that, facts. you know facts. what I'm saying, facts. for doing his thing, you know? That's facts, because right now, let me tell you, Drake is not the greatest rapper, and I'm saying this loud to my boys that work with here. Drake is a light-skinned dude making something called music. He ain't no rapper. Talk about rapping, you talk about KRS-One, and you take it back to basic when we spit the truth. Drake, he's doing something called I'm making some rhymes work. I respect him and I rate what he's doing, but yo, come real, son. Talk about some Tupac, some Biggie. You feel me? Yeah, you know. I Take mean, it back to basic. Hip hop has evolved. You yeah. know what I'm saying I respect it, even though when I even when I hear stuff that I may not be into, I respect it. You know what I'm saying because these people feeding their families, so you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and of they, course. And they out here working. And, you know what I'm saying. This thing ain't easy, man. To get up on any mic or get up on any stage, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not easy, man. It's it a takes track. a lot of courage. You know what I'm saying. Right. For you to do what you do right now, I just seen you turn up for an hour, man. Like Yo. it's impressive, man. I, I listen. We go to radio stations and yeah. they be dead. You in here jumping around, moving around. I, I gotta have fun with it, man. I, I respect that. That's real. It. That's real. You know what's funny? A lot of people look at me like, yo, you're a DJ. I look at them and laugh. I say, yo, you can talk to my wallet at the end of the day because like, you think I'm a DJ. I went to school. I got a degree. I got a, I got a career. Mm -hmm. This is my love. This is my fun. Nobody pays me to do music. I do music for the love. And I love what you're doing right now because we are on the same channel right here. We have the same agenda. Now, has anyone said, yo, you kind of sound like, yo, you got a aha in you. You got a Jada sound in you, that young Jada. We're, I mean, we're, we're more rawness to it, though. I mean, I was told I had a unique voice, so, you know what I mean? I mean, for it to sound similar yeah. to, you know, Jada or whoever, you know, I was just, that's one of the things about me. I, 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 that people tell me all the time, you know, yeah. saying, you know your voice, man. So, you I just, man. I just, you know, I, listen, I'm just trying to put out great music, man. I want the people to uh, appreciate it. And I'm here with bringing something to the table. I'm not taking nothing from the table, you heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, five, five, ten years from now, where do you see yourself as an artist? Well, you know, they say you got to talk it into the atmosphere. So, I see myself as a, a 
Speak of this first of all, first of all, I'm a listen. I'm a father, so you know what I'm saying. I, I want to make sure my son graduates and do what he got to do and do all that stuff and take care of my family. You know what I'm saying. I, I never was the type that wanted much and wanted millions and billions of dollars. I just want my family to be happy. I want people around me to be happy. You know what I'm saying. And uh, where I see myself, me, my my partners. You know what I'm saying. The labels, all of us, we gonna be doing it big, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't really yo know, say and say yo, I, in ten years I'm gonna be a billionaire or millionaire, but I'm gonna tell you like this, man. I'm working right here, right now, so that I can become something later on in life. And Please. all this is this is this is my road to greatness. This is our road to greatness. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna keep this thing rolling, and that's that. You know what I mean? And coming up into this music thing, into this rap business, right? The game is tight. A lot of people doing this because the younger folks, I mean, they don't want to go to school. They see this as a way out. They say it's the past swing, but they don't know the sweat and toil behind it. Now, for you, right, how do you see the struggle coming into this? Man, this is a struggle, man. Listen, man, now, listen, this thing costs money, man. You got to, you know what I'm saying? So, you, first of all, you got to know how to read, read your contracts, man. So, it ain't about just rapping and getting on them MIC and thinking, oh, yeah, we going to make it. And we gonna, you got to know business plans. You got to map stuff out. This stuff takes an education. So, I'd advise anybody out there, man, you can rap and go to school, you know what I'm saying? You can rap and work, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Don't just put all your eggs and yo, I'm rapping, I'm a rapper, and this is where I'm going with it. Nah, man, get that degree, man, because, you know what I'm saying, you're going to need it in the long run. Trust me, yo, you're going to regret it. Facts, facts, facts. Now, Hop Cache, where do you come about with that name? Hop Cache? Uh, you know, I used to go by a name called Hop the Great. Uh, you know what I mean? I didn't like it much. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I changed it. I woke up one day and I said, yo, I'm changing my name. You know what I'm saying? I'm changing my name to Cash J. Uh, actually, Stephen A. Smith gave me gave me the idea from first take. You know what I'm saying? He had said Chris Paul had the Cash to take the Clippers yeah, to yeah, the finals. Yeah, yeah. And I said, hold up. I got that Cash I can take my team to the finals. I can do that. I, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that type. So I was like, yo, Hop Cash A. And it just rolled off the tongue. And I ran with it, you know what I'm saying? Hop Cash A. So pretty much you get my, my style, you know what I'm saying? My, what I'm representing, Hop Cash A and my music, you know? Now, we talk about business and we know Hop Cash A, there's more behind Hop Cash A than just music and then yeah. Hop than just hip hop. Tell them what else we do out there because people want to know. People ask these questions. People might see you looking, hey, you look like a street hustler. They, they judge you for how you look and how you dress. They don't know the real the truth behind it. They don't know that, hey, this man, he owns a business. This man, he does this. They don't know. A lot of people just judge by the character. That's that. See, that's that's what the preconceived notion is about. The tape that I'm driving at the top of the year, preconceived yeah. notion. You know, you look at me and you judge me. But hey, man, you know, keep on judging. You know what I'm saying? But you can't judge a book by its cover. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man, I'm a Playboy with a buy. I'm a I'm a Bible with a Playboy cover. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how I, did. I like that. Book. Listen, let me tell you something, man. Um, yeah. Every year in my neighborhood. A bunch of my, my peoples get together, uh, Status, Boulevard, you know what I'm saying, Strategic Films, NY, uh, Glory Ave. We all get together and we do this thing in my neighborhood called Hot Cash A Day mm -hmm. where we give out a hundred book bags going back to school. During back to school time, every year we do this. Uh, yeah. We give a hundred book bags out, tablets out. We got the bouncy house. We got the, the, the barber out there giving free haircuts. We got food. You know what I'm saying? We got drinks. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving back to my community. So, you know what I mean? Don't judge me and just see, oh, he win baggy or whatever and I'm a thug because no, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here giving back to my community with my bros and we all doing it. You know what I'm saying? And we all nice. represent. Nice, nice. Now, what is your words of um, encouragement for the youths out there listening to your music? What do you have to say to them? What do you have to say that might help elevate from where they are now? Uh, you ain't got to be great to start, but you got to start to be great. You know what I'm saying? And that's that. You know? Facts. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Hot Cache is in the building. Let me get back into this track right here, because, yo, you know I like the turn up, right? That one, I see. I came up with my dick. Antonio, truly a pleasure having a man in the building. I know it's cut for time. You got to get up out of here. You got another interview to go on and stuff. So tell them where they can find you and stuff. Uh, check it out. Uh, Whoishop.com. You know what I'm saying? You can go there in my Instagram. All that stuff is on the site. I want to get people to come to my site. 
you know what I mean, before I send them to the Facebooks, the Instagrams, whoshop.com, man. Go there. Go also, please support, you know what I mean, your local artists who's trying to do something with itself. Good music. Support good music, man. Doesn't necessarily have to be my music, but support good music. And uh, just once again, I, you know, I'm on FM. I want to yeah. say thank you for having me. Most Thank definitely. you for having us. Most definitely. Us. That's what I do, people. You feel me? You know I don't care what genre it is. Y'all say, this Jamaican boy think he's American. No, I don't think I'm American. I, you could call me up with a Chinese rapper right now. I'll bring him in the studio and I'll speak Chinese with him right now. Yeah. All I got to do, I'm going to call the ambassador and say, yo, who you got for me that speak Chinese? Who can translate? Exactly. You feel me? It's how you do things. You got to network. And this is my networking right now. I'm bringing my boys from the hood in the building. Let people know there's good from the hood. Yeah. You feel me? There's good from the hood. Definitely. From the street. Shout out to my boy Andrew, man. Don Gucci, wherever you at. I see you at work later. Yeah, that, that's one of the shout outs. I want to Don Gucci. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Uh, the Wall Status Boulevard. And why Peter Powers. Powers, you know what I'm saying? You already know what it is. Uh, Rumbles. Uh, 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 just everybody that's in tune with what we're doing and support. Everybody that called in. Thank you. I love y'all. I appreciate it. And, you know, keep supporting. Yeah. You heard? Yo, let me tell you this, people. Truly a pleasure having a man in the building. How I get to know this man, Don Gucci. He works for me at Target. Everybody knows I work there. I ain't got nothing to hide. And that guy said to me, I got my artist coming to fire. I'm like, uh-huh, I'll never get back to work. Uh -huh, let's talk about that. Uh, uh, we on the clock right now. I'm like, come on, boys. You got to let my boy come through, man. We turn up. I said, you know what? Bring that. Bring your boy to Wednesday. I'm going to give him a shout out. I'm like, I don't want you no crappy artists because I'm tired of you and crappy artists. People. The first delivery I got from him, I'm like, yo, let me play that song another five more times. Let me try to be serious like I don't like this track. Definitely. In the car going home, I'm like, damn, I got you. Yeah, I got that murder case. And I'm bumping. I'm like, that song is in my head. Yo, this is some, yo, this is hardcore hip hop. People do support. Go out. Go out. Show love. All right? My man, it's truly a pleasure having you. Hey, what's good, world? It's your boy, I'm Cache. I need you to go out and get my new single featuring Haitian Jack title. Bringing that issue, produced by Scott Styles. Available on iTunes and Google Play. Support the real. Yeah.